sweet friends welcome to the art cake experience channel today i'm going to be modeling for you a very cute little bunny and i'm going to be using pasta model by saracino i just won a prize from saracino that i'm very happy about uh, and i receive a lot of saracino products so i'm going to be using this uh here in my youtube channel and on my online school just to show you i'm not representing anybody i'm not affiliated to anybody this is not uh publicity for anybody it's just that it is actually uh, a good modeling base that i like to use especially for modeling toppers and i'm going to show you how easy it is to use it um so today we're going to be doing a cute little bunny i'm going to show it to you in just a second um, for a very special birthday on Valentine's Day. So it's gonna be great. Stay tuned and watch this tutorial. Okay, so today we're going to be making a cute little bunny. Like I said before, we're going to be using modeling paste. This is not sugar paste, it's modeling paste. So it's more elastic, but also has the property to blend together. See, if I put a seam in here, just with the rub of my fingers, I can blend it and you will have any markings. So that's a good thing about the modeling paste that sometimes you don't get that result using uh, sugar paste. And for this bunny, I'm going to be using an internal structure, is an egg-shaped uh, styrofoam ball, is approximately five centimeters diameter and six centimeters long, just to give some support to the bunny. We are starting this, let me just weight this so we're starting this with approximately 55 58 grams of the modeling paste of course we're going to be using less but start with a little bit more because this is to cover the styrofoam ball you will need enough but then we're going to remove any excess that we don't use so this is going to be white it's going to be just a white rabbit today um this is for my mother-in-law my mother-in-law's birthday is on February the 14th on Valentine's Day. So of course my husband and I, we do not celebrate Valentine's Day on Valentine's Day. We celebrate it any other day of the year because it's mama's birthday. So we need to celebrate her birthday. And she loves green. So the cake is going to be green, the cover of the cake, maybe some flowers in it. And I thought a cute little bunny will do the trick. But of course the bunny is gonna be white. So we don't have any contrast with the green on the cake. So stay tuned, watch how I cover this telephone and we can start building this cute one. Okay, so I made a ball with the modeling paste. Uh, what I'm going to do, do you see where I have all these wrinkles here that I don't, I don't want them to be seen. So here is where I'm going to, uh, to start to uh, cover the um the styrofoam so i'm just going to wet this a little bit some water if this is not coming out let me just okay now it is with some water here and now i'm going to push the styrofoam ball into the paste and just bring the paste up to cover the egg shape uh styrofoam as you can see if this is starts to separate like this just add some more water around it, okay? Because we don't want to leave any air between the styrofoam ball and the sugar paste. Uh, the idea is to use the styrofoam because I want this to last. But if you want to make it all edible, you can either use a little uh, cake pop inside or you can use um, some Rice Krispie Treat ball or uh, just just sugar paste or modeling paste, okay? So that way you will have a full edible topper. But this one I want her, I want it to last for her to keep it for later, okay? So once it's all uh, covered, I'm just going to remove this excess. So like I said before, we were going to start with 58 grams but we're not going to use it all. So with my scissors, small scissors, Gonna reserve this and now I can oops sorry and now I can really like glue it together and cover it because this is what is great this is gonna be the body of the bunny okay so once everything is covered and the way you want it just let it set for a little bit the modeling paste say the modeling paste sets quite 
quickly, okay? And if you find any wrinkles that you don't like, look, just by passing your fingers with the heat of your hand, you can smooth it and you won't have any markings in there, okay? I'm just going to leave this little tip here because we might use it as a neck, but, and if not, I can remove it later. So here is for the body, I'm going to reserve this. Okay, once I have the body set, now I'm going to start by uh, covering the head. Again, I'm going to be using another styrofoam ball. This is approximately, again, I think it's about, uh, let's see, four centimeters diameter of a styrofoam ball. Again, if you wanna make it all edible, you can use Rice Krispie Treat, cake pop, or just, just a ball of sugar paste or modeling paste in this case. Remember that today we are using the modeling paste. I took approximately, let me see, uh, 42 grams of the modeling paste and I'm going to repeat the process that we did with the egg shape but in this case with the ball I'm just going to cover the whole ball using the modeling paste for the head of the little rabbit um, again if you see that this is coming out just add some more water you can also use edible glue but um in these kinds of things i since i already have a structure that is going to set i like to use water because that way i won't have any shine or any markings on the uh on the ball on the on the sugar paste okay so again let's try to smooth it see how smooth it looks just with the heat of my hands i can smooth it out quite quickly. I'm just going to push this up, remove this excess that we don't need, and this is going to be the base of my rabbit's head. Let me just remove this with, again, with my scissors. I'm going to remove this that we don't need, and now we have the head of the, or oh, what will be <laughs> the head of the rabbit. Let me just create a full ball so we know that we can use any size that, any side that we want. Okay, let me leave this to rest also for a little bit and we start working on the details. Okay, like I mentioned before, one of the beauties of the modeling paste is that you can blend it together without leaving much markings on your, um, on your piece. This, uh, this is what I'm going to do to create the, the front, uh, the mouth of the little rabbit. So I'm going to take a little bit of sugar paste, uh, sugar paste, no, modeling paste. Remember, this is modeling paste. Uh, this is approximately, and I will tell you how much, this is approximately five grams of the modeling paste. Okay, I'm gonna create a small ball. Then I'm going to press that ball Okay, press it just to create a flat surface that is going to be the um, the mouth of the rabbit. Okay, so the surface is a flat and this is going to create the front of the mouth of the rabbit. Now, what I want to do is I'm not gonna leave it absolutely round. This is going to be the front of, my, of the face. I'm not gonna leave it absolutely round. First, I want to press a little bit more and make it into a novel shape okay for the for the rabbit and here I'm going to press it to create it more like a triangular shape for example for the I'm going to show you for the bears I like to leave it into an oval shape for the rabbit I like to bring it down here as a triangle because it has, it's more similar to the shape of the rabbit's face. Okay, so you can be creative. You can create little details like this in order to identify different kinds of animals. So now, using a dressing tool, this is from Wilton, a dressing tool. I'm just going to blend the seams, as you can see here. Blend the seams of my piece that I just put in here. So it looks like it's part of the main ball, see? So that way I don't have 
any seam. See how I don't see any seams in here? So just press it. This is awesome when you're modeling faces because you don't get any seams when you're adding. And if you work with uh, modeling chocolate, you're used to this. But um, with the modeling paste, you also have this kind of advantage. You can just blend everything without making any or leaving any markings. Okay, just blend, blend, blend. And that way it looks like it's just one piece. This is awesome when you're doing, for example, a Mickey Mouse or a Minnie Mouse that you have to adapt the front part of the mouth and you don't want to create I, I i don't like to leave any seams that's there's a video here where you can see how i make it uh because i don't like to leave the seams of the mouth in mickey or Minnie. so and this is a game changer because i can really add something and not have any seams in there now i'm going to be using one of uh my new tools this is from innovative sugar works uh, they're really really cool this is the soft uh, the small the mini tip soft and I'm going to use it to create the mouth if this is the blue one I'm going to use the small tip and just create a cute little mouth in there okay let me just open it a little bit more okay and now with my dressing tool I'm just going to push it up here and push it up here here you go now uh using another one of the tools from the innovative sugar works this is the yellow one that has an angular shape here i'm going to add a line right in the middle just to create the separation here that they have in their mouth isn't that cute and I'm just going to leave it like that because then it's we're going to add a little, let me show you here, because then we're going to add a little nose in there. Using another one of the Innovative Sugar Works tools, uh, this is the round one. I'm going to use the small tip. This is the mini tip and this is the smaller one because they have two sizes. And I'm just going to mark, just mark where I want the eyes to go because the eyes are actually going to be bigger. But here, right now, I'm just marking it. Uh, I think the distance is well. It's good. Okay, now I can take the bigger side and just create the big hole where the eyes are going to be. Okay. It's going to have big eyes. Big, cute eyes. You'll see. It's going to be really cute. Okay, I'm going to leave this to rest and we're going to start working on the legs, the paws, and the ears. So I'm bringing back uh, the body. Body's already rested, <laughs> right? So I have it, as you can see now, I have, uh, I can touch it and I'm not leaving any markings in there. It was rest for about 10 minutes, maybe less. The time that it took me to make uh, the, the head, that's it. So I'm going to take more of the modeling paste now let me just turn on this and i'm going to divide this in two and this is approximately 15 grams of uh modeling page paste sorry for each leg i'm going to create two balls okay and even though i took half and half let me measure them again this is 14 this is 15. Let me just take just a pinch here. And this is just to know that both legs are going to be the same side. Those who know me have been here for a long time knows that I don't like to measure things. But I has to. I had to start doing it because it actually gives me um, a, a measurement that I can give you. Because one thing is what I see and it's like I can see the leg coming out of here. But uh, for you guys, it's more difficult. So giving you measurements, it's easier. So once I have the ball done, I'm going to create a teardrop shape by, by just pushing here, okay? Into my hands and the same here, okay? Between my hands, there 
you go. Once I have both of them, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a small rolling pin. I have a small rolling pin. This is for flowers. And I'm just going to push down towards the back like this. Okay, because this is the legs that are going to be here. Now, I don't want to be, leave this very big because actually I want to bring her legs. It's going to be her, I think, her legs up. Okay, so I'm going to press a little bit here and a little bit here. Okay, and in the back, I'm also going to press here just to create the inside of her um, fingers, <laughs> toes, <laughs> fingers, not toes, okay? So the leg is actually gonna go like down here and then up. And you will have the little paws going like this in the underneath, okay? Just like that, see? Okay, so. Uh, and I'm going to do the same. This is the back, of course, and I'm going to do the same here. This is the back, right? This is the part that is going backwards. Okay, here and here. I love the little bunny legs that go, you know, have the little fluffy paws that go like this. They're really cute. So using some water. Right, um, this is gonna be, first decide which one is gonna be the front. This is gonna be the front. So the legs are going to be a little towards the side, but I'm gonna start underneath, bringing it up. And here I'm going to blend it. Let me just take my dressing tool. I'm going to blend it here as well. So I know that it's stuck in there. Okay, and same with the other one. Okay, I'm gonna blend. You can use your fingers too. See, you don't need the tool if you don't have it. There's a little marking here that I'm going to take care of. Okay, so we have her two paws in here, her two feet. Okay, now using, I'm going to be using probably my dressing tool. I'm just going to mark up and up here, right? and complete mark of her toes like this. Uh, if you're not sure about where you're gonna place the thing, where you're gonna place the details, start with very light markings, especially if you're using the modeling paste because you can erase them, okay? And then make them deeper like I did here. Same I'm going to do here. Okay. I have to tell you guys, the cakes just came out of the oven and my kitchen is smelling so good right now. I have them right next to me and but they're for my mom and law. So no, I cannot eat them. Not yet. I will eat them on the party. So that way we have, okay, let me show you. We have her legs up. She's going to be with her legs up. We need a fluffy tail, very fluffy tail. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the modeling paste and give her a little ball. Let me see how much is this. This is about four uh, grams of the modeling paste and I'm gonna glue them here in the back. Okay, or glue it here in the back, maybe more. Okay, good, there you go. And now I'm going to leave this to red. Oh, no, wait, we need to create uh, the upper arms. Uh, but I'm going to leave it to rest just for a little bit because I want to add some details on the on the legs and uh, I'll show you what I'm gonna do.
Well, my friends, to give some extra、uh, Valentine's detail to our little rabbit, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to be using this very, very pale、uh, pink color to add some details to the paws of the rabbit. So I'm going to take、uh, two very small balls of maybe two grams each, make a round ball to create the、um, the lower part of the paws. You'll see it. Now take those two little balls and flat them in the palm of your hands, like I'm doing here on the video. So you can create a, a very fluffy base for the paws of the rabbit. Now roll out some of this light pink, and I'm using three、uh, cutters with the ejector because it's easier. And I'm going to three different sizes, as you can see here: one small, one medium, one large. And I'm going to cut two hearts from each size, so we can use it on the paws. Now, using some water, I'm just going to glue the big part here, as you see here in the video, the big round. Uh, circle that we did before, and now with the hearts, I'm creating sort of like the nails, and I'm doing it from the bigger to the smaller in a size.、Uh, do the same in the other paw, and you see how cute this looks. Now that the face is set, remember that we let it to rest. I took two very tiny balls of pink that I'm going to put in the back of the eyes, just to create、uh, a little bit of shadow in the back of the eye. These are not going to be the eyes. Using the round tool from Innovative Sugar Works, I'm just going to push that pink back and open the whole of the eye a little bit more. It's just to create a bigger cavity and create some sort of shadow in the back. So when I put the eye, it has. A little bit of pink in the back. Now take two little balls of black sugar paste to create the eyes. Again, this should be like less than one gram, and I want to make them big, but not as big as they came come out of the eye, but big enough that they look cute. But you can see the shadow of the pink in the back of the eye. Okay, now I'm just going to create a small marking in here to know where the nose is going to be, just as a guide. Because later I'm going to put a small. You can leave it like this and paint it with a pink dust, but I think I'm going to add a small pink nose afterwards. In here, I'm just adding a little touch of white in the eyes, just to give some light into it. And here it is, the little pink nose that I took from the pink,、uh, pale pink sugar paste. I think it looks quite cuter. Now I'm going to do the arms of the rabbit. They're going to be quite small and cute,、uh, but I just want to add、uh, this detail before we start texturing our bunny.
Okay, now that we have the body ready and we also have the head ready, I'm going to start uh, texturing this rabbit using this tool. This is from Sarah Tools and it's a small ball tool. It has two ends, a big and big one and a small one. I'm going to start with the big one to give an effect similar to this one that you see in the teddy bear. So what I just go and tap with the ball tool this is the largest of the of this two, but it's still a small ball tool. Just to give some texture, it looks uh, to make it look fluffy and cute. Now I'm going to change to a bigger tool in order to create more depth into the um, into the fur of the rabbit. Uh, so this is from Innovative Sugar Works. is also the round tool, but it's the the bigger one. And just create more texture into the rabbit. You can also use the little tiny one to create even more texture into it, but not not as much as with the other two because we don't want to. Uh, make it look like it has holes in it, just to give texture. So in here I'm going to do the same texture but in the head of the rabbit. So uh, his head or her head because this is she <laughs> looks as fluffy as her body. I'm just leaving around the eyes without texture just to give more emphasis into the eyes and also the part of the mouth. I'm not going to texture that part either. That's going to be just as smooth and soft. Now, of course, to finish uh, her eyes, I'm going to give her some lashes, uh, just using a little bit of black sugar paste to create this cute lash to make it look more feminine and cute. Finally, using a toothpick, insert it in the middle of the body and place the head uh, in the way that you would like uh, to look best. Like for me, I'm not going to place it totally uh, straight, but just a little bit bent to one side to make it look cute. Okay, let's start creating the ears. I have two balls of uh, modeling paste. These are approximately 50 grams each. And I'm going to, from the ball, I'm going to make a long teardrop shape to create long bunny ears. So just press with your hands on top of your mat to make it flat. And then in one of the ends, you just pinch it to create the tip of the ear, as you see here on the video. Okay, after I do the same with both ears, now I'm going to take my rolling pin, as you will see in just a minute, and just flatten the middle of the ears, just going back and forth, just to create that, uh, that roundness of the ear, and just measure it next to the rabbit, uh, to make sure that they're long enough and that they are, um, they're the size that you want them. Okay, uh, place any details or you know work them with their with your hands 
so you will know that they are the size and the shape that you want. These are fine, so we're going to work with this ones. Now to finish the ears, as you can see, I already made one. I put some pink, pale pink sugar paste in the middle. I'm going to do the same with the second ear, just trying to copy the shape of the center of the ear uh, and then pass your rolling pin again, just to create that uh, fluffy center. And I'm going to do exactly the same as I did with the bunny. I'm going to create the texture. So of course the ears have to match the rest of the bunny. After giving some details to the center of the ears, now with some water, you're going to glue the ears to the uh, to the light, to the place that you would like them. I I just curve them a little bit in the back, just putting some water in the back of the ear to make sure it's gonna hold, and just press them uh, very well on the top so you are sure that they will stick in the head of the rabbit. Now I want to create a, some uh, fluffy hair on the chest of the rabbit and for that I'm going to take a little bit of sugar paste. Uh, this could be approximately, I don't know, 20 grams and create a little ball with a teardrop shape. Then now I'm just going to start um, making it into a triangle and flattening it a little bit. Just to, just to measure in the chest of the bunny if this is a good size. So let's just take a look. I'm going to add some water in here and let me see if this is okay. I think it could be a little bit big, so I'm going to take off a little bit of the top and uh, now flatten it again. And once it's on the size that I want to, I will place it on the rabbit. And now that it has the size that I want to, with my dressing tool, whoops, sorry about this, <laughs> it ran away. With my dressing tool, I'm just going to blend it on the neck first of the rabbit. This is the what I call the spoon part of the dressing tool. And now with the tip part of the dressing tool, I will start giving some texture. Uh, in a minute, I'll start giving some, there you go, I'll start giving some texture to make it look like fur, as you can see there. We just bring the paste down and give it texture just to make it look uh, fluffy in the front. Make a little bow for this lovely rabbit. I'm going to use green because it's the birthday girl uh, favorite color. <laughs> so I'm going to use this light green. So I'm going to take two little balls of this green or light green sugar paste to create the bow. I'm going to do it a little bit differently than I usually do it in other videos because I want this to be a fat fluffy bow. You will see. So after creating the balls I'm creating teardrop shapes that I'm flattening on the surface to create the and make it like sort of like a heart shape using my dressing tool uh, just to make the two sides of the bow. Also with the dressing tool I'm going to give some accents in the middle to make it look uh, big and fluffy and the little ball is going to be the center of the bow. Glue the bow with some water um, make it look tall and very fluffy and big so the rabbit looks quite cute. With the help of your dressing tool make sure it's uh, really set and instead of a ball I'm just going to roll it out and uh, create the center of the bow as so you see here on the video. Now, of course, our rabbit is not going to be complete until we add some color. So I'm going to dust it with some pink just to just to remove a little bit of the white and create some depth in the in the white sugar paste. 
So I'm using a little bit of uh, yellow here, sorry. I'm going to be using some green for the bow, as you can see here, uh, just to create some depth and some shadows on the bow. And I will be using some pink also for the cheeks and the the pink parts of the of the rabbit like her legs and the and the ears just just to add some shadows and to create more, more depth into our rabbit And to finish, I'm going to give some pink in her mouth and also a little bit of black just to give some definition, as you'll see here, just a little bit. And this is it for today, guys. I really hope you have liked this rabbit and this video tutorial of today. And here is the final cake. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial.